Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com and RandyHunterJazz.VHX.TV. Now, be sure to check out my websites to find out more about my complete jazz improvisation and beginning saxophone lesson series. Got tons of lessons there. Now, in this Greatest Jazz Sax Blues Motif video, we're going to check out a motif by Ben Webster. You just heard me play it. And this is from Jive at 6, at six, uh, 2 minutes and 26 seconds into the tune. Uh, ben plays this great, big, robust sounding motif. Now, first, let's talk a little bit about Ben. He, uh, he, he had a gentle side and a robust side. A lot of times you'd hear his solo start with a gentle sort of feel and go to the robust sort of feel. So be sure to check that out, the way he has a tendency to develop his sound and the solo. He's great at developing solos too. You know, you hear a lot of really good development in Ben's solos. Um, one that I would particularly suggest that you check out is with him playing with Coleman Hawkins on a tune called Blues for Yolande. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, uh, Ben was one of the great swing tenors that we think of. You know, when we think of the great swing tenors, we th th often think of Ben Webster, Coleman Hawkins, and Lester Young. So uh, Ben played a lot with Coleman Hawkins. So you can find things with Ben playing with Coleman Hawkins. But later in, later in his career, he also played with Jerry Mulligan. So a big contrast between styles, Jerry Mulligan, Ben Webster. Wow, what a big contrast there. And uh, Ben played the famous solo with the Duke Ellington Band on Cottontail. And uh, one of the things I dig about that Cottontail solo, and, and it's a pretty robust solo, and he did a lot of the same things for a number of years. So you hear various recordings of that. But one thing you'll hear Ben do in that solo is this little diminished arpeggio thing. And I know I'm not going to play it exactly right because I'm just kind of playing from memory, but you'll hear sort of... <laughs> You know, so uh, check out Ben Webster playing Cottontail. But now, let's uh, let's talk a little bit more and let's get into our lick by Ben Webster. And one of his nicknames was Frog, so you might keep that in mind as well. But um, Ben starts this, um, this solo, and um, in fact, the solo is on a blues in E. You'll find Ben playing blues in E a number of times. Not, not E concert, but E on the tenor sax. And he starts this on the high D, and we've heard in several of our motifs how um, these great sax players would start with a long note with a great big bend. Ben does that very same thing. He starts with a big bend into this high D and he sustains the D for about three beats with this great big bend and as he's coming out of the bend he goes into a pretty wide vibrato and the vibrato is one of the trademark characteristics of Ben's sound so be sure to listen for his vibrato in solos. But you know he starts with this uh, a couple of B's and a da and da so you've got kind of the Dodden kind of tongue on the high B. So you hear Dodden, and then he does this little turn to the minor third, and we're on the four chord at that point, so the minor third in our key is actually the seven on the four chord, it's the G, um, but it's a big blues note, you know, in the blues scale, that minor third is, um, is a big blues note. So he does that turn, goes down to the minor third, and then he does another little turn, starting on the F sharp. <laughs> Da D a C sharp D sharp E. So he puts actually that major seven going into the E. So there's it's not a real complex lick, but you've got to listen to the way Ben plays this lick so that you can kind of match the style and also listen to the chorus prior to the one where he goes into this lick because you'll hear how he builds up to this particular lick. So um, so be sure to check out the whole solo. Notice how it starts with a gentle feel, builds in robustness, and then kind of, uh, this is kind of like at the apex, the height, the climax of the solo where he, where he lays out this great big high D with this blues lick that comes down. So um, listen to the lick one more time, and then um, take it to the practice room, okay? You know, I almost forgot to remind you to be sure to visit my websites, beginningsax.com 
and randyhunterjazz.vhx.tv for lots of jazz improvisation and beginning sax lessons. At randyhunterjazz.vhx.tv, you can subscribe for full access to my lessons at beginningsax.com. You can purchase them individually or in smaller sets. Okay, hope to hear from you soon.